Yeah, hi guys, this is Vishal here. So in this video, we will understand how to work with hidden fields. So what are hidden fields, why they are needed and how we use them. So hidden fields are basically form fields or form elements where you want to submit something along with the form, but you don't want that value to be input by the user. So let's say there are some scenarios where you want to assign some default value to, to something, right? You want to create a new project and maybe you want to assign it a default status or maybe if someone is updating something you want to assign that who did it but you don't want the user to explicitly provide the value you want some value maybe maybe some static value maybe some dynamic value on the basis of what action is being performed and then the value should get processed or saved in the system so for that purpose we use hidden feed so let's see how quickly how that can be used and how we uh, use it across different different scenarios so I, ha I have a collection called uh, product. It has four fields, name, which is a text field, description, manufacturing date and status, okay, which is a, a static option and it has two options, available and not available. Uh, so let's say, let's add one more field, okay, uh, with reference, let's say updated by, updated by so this is of type uh, let's say user and uh, we display email that's all okay so whenever the product will get updated we want to capture this field this field will uh, again will have the status so let's go back so let's go to a product create page in here if i log in as a user and i go and create a product this is how my collection form looks like as of now which is asking me name description manufacturing date and status which is uh, available not available so this is the default form which gets created when you put a collection form now i don't want user to provide this available not available feed so by default as someone is entering new product i want it to be available right and then user can later update it to available or not available but default value i want to set is available so there are two ways either you can use constructor so in constructor you can define available and you can just remove this field from the uh, form itself and the default value will be available but here we are talking about the example of hidden value so let's see how that can be used because let's say you want to assign a current user like whoever is the logged in user to be associated or maybe a project add or maybe some dynamic value which you cannot pass in a constructor so we'll see that also so i'll go back to my form so this is from where this particular drop down is coming now i don't want user to uh, give this option uh, to fill this option but at the same time i want some default values to go so what i'll do i'll just go and go to this and select the name so that i know that what is the name of the uh, field or from which the value is going i just close this i go to my components and move to uh, this forms and take this input field so input field is a field which takes value in a text format. Go to the setting and give the exact same name, right? Status. Now I can remove this. So now I have replaced my uh, drop down with an input field. So here, if I reload this form, you will see the difference. So now our status is an input field. Now I want to pass a value of available as default. So what I'll do, I'll go back to the settings here in the get content, I'll choose get fix value, give fix value. So it has opened me a box for giving the fixed value. I'll mark it as available. Okay. And this is it. You can see and now it is available. So if I go and reload the form, it is available. So the default value is available. Now I don't want user to uh, see it at all, right? I can the, leave the form as it is. The default will be available so this is useful when you want to set some default value but let's you don't want to set default value you don't even want user to see it so what i'll do i'll just remove this label okay i'll maybe move this field outside of the column because i don't even need column remove this column now i'll set this field as hidden how do i do it i go back to the setting in the type we are a, we have a couple of options whether it's a text field email password number i'll just mark it as hidden so now it is hidden from the form 
behind the scene it is still there but it is not visible to the user and it has some dummy values now let's create a product hidden product manufacturing date 7 and then i submit it now user has not provided the value but if we go to the collection if you go to the collection we see the product uh, hidden products created and the status is available so actually the value has uh, gone there by default okay which is a hidden value now let's say whenever i am updating the product i want that who updated it i want some dynamic value this time right so i don't want status or maybe i let's say status to be available not available but at the same time i also want to capture that who did it and i don't want user to full expertise that oh i have did it i want to pick it from the current logged in user whoever is the logged in user so as of now if you see uh, this is the user user one is the current logged in user so now i want to capture the current logged in user so how, typically how you do it in an edit form you go to the edit form so you go to the edit form you go to components and drop a a collection field component so if i drop a collection field okay it is asking me in that which particular field it is so i'll choose updated by so this is which i want to capture since this is of type user and of type reference so it will show me the list of all the user this is the default behavior but i want to change this behavior so first let's see what the default behavior is so here you are you see that it is showing me all the users of the system that who updated it don't, don't worry about the ui that's some css issue okay it is showing me all the user user one user two user three user four and admin so if i allow user to do it themselves so they may end up messing something i don't want them to do it i want some default value so what i'll do same thing i'll go to the settings capture this name copy this name field i'll close this box go to the components go to form bring a input field so let's put it here and i'll give the name of updated at i'll paste the name updated by and i'll say get value from logged in user and since this is a reference field we will have to pass the id if we want to capture the email we can say updated by email maybe it's a text field but since it is a reference field we'll have to pass the id so it is saving the id now if i go to my product product list page and try to edit something so this is the product which we created hidden product so let's edit it so here you will see that it is basically bringing the uuid of the current logged in user so since it is a reference field we want to pass the uuid so that it gets captured so now i'll just mark it as hidden field i can either mark it as read only or mark it as hidden now this is basically sending the value but in a hidden format so now if i update the user the value will go but the end user will never see that okay there is something which is getting passed along with this form so i'll say up hidden product updated okay let's say status not available and submit okay now if i go to my collection and if, as of now no product is updated because we have not given the value and we have updated this so let's just reload this so here you can see hidden product is updated and it is updated by user one so this value is coming as a Uh, as a hidden field with a dynamic parameter from the current logged in user so you can basically bring the parameter from several places like you can bring dynamic value from the product itself you can bring it from session you can bring it from form data you can also pass it a fixed value which you have given or you can pick it from current logged in user so this is how you pass dynamic values to a form in a hidden format hope this is clear now see you again in next videos bye bye